What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Cam from Edmunds Woodshop. So today we are talking about ventilation on the XT series desktop laser by one laser. Now this is a 55 watt laser and it does come with a stock four inch fan and that's what you see right here. This just gets bolted onto the back. You can see the fan is built inside. Little plug here that you plug in and then the duct just goes right on the back and that's it. That's all you have that comes with this laser. Now, one thing that we've always recommended is to get an inline fan to go with your laser and actually replace your stock internal fan. And when I say replace, I actually mean remove the fan out and use the inline fan in place of the stock fan. The reason being is because this actually produces 402 CFMs of airflow. This is made by a company called AC Infinity and it just produces so much more airflow than your stock fan, which may produce 100 CFMs if you're lucky. I doubt that with the four inch fan. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna show you how to install the stock fan and show you the performance of the stock fan, but then we're gonna remove the stock fan and we're actually gonna install the six inch fan and show you a little comparison back and forth just so you can get an idea. So let's go ahead and get started so we can see the results. Okay, now we're getting ready to install our inline fan. This is a six inch in diameter inline fan from AC Infinity. This is their Cloudline S6 model. This is a very good inline fan. It produces 402 CFMs of airflow. Now, keep in mind that our stock fan and our stock duct is four inches in diameter. So we need a six inch to a four inch duct adapter, okay? Now before mounting this, we have to look at the airflow. There's an arrow that tells us where the airflow is directing. So we want the air to go in on this side and push out that way. So that means our duct actually needs to go on this side, just like that. So what I have here is some duct tape, D-U-C-T duct tape or foil tape. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna close off this seam here just to make sure we have an airtight seal. All right, so now we just installed the duct on the end of the four inch adapter, the four to six inch adapter. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that you'll probably need to buy an additional clamp just because the one laser doesn't come with multiple clamps, it just comes with one. So we have the duct here, I have it stretched all the way out. Now keep in mind, the ability to have effective ventilation will depend on your complexity of your ductwork. So your ductwork needs to be as straight as possible. It can't have so many 90 degree bends. And if you decide to get rid of the flexible ducting, you can use rigid ducting and that will help your airflow better. 
Now, this isn't going to be the permanent location of my laser. I'm actually going to be putting it in my basement shop. But for now, I'm just going to kind of just attach this and I'm going to run it out my back door in the garage just to show you uh, how effective this is. All right, guys, so pretty dramatic difference, right? So keep in mind, like I was saying earlier, the effectiveness of your ventilation system will depend on the complexity of your ductwork. So don't be like me and just stretch out your flexible ducting and try to throw it out the back door. Find a permanent location of where your laser is gonna be and build an efficient ductwork system. So you can get rid of the flexible ducting if you want and go buy rigid ducting, get an inline fan, get rid of the stock fan, pull it out because the stock fan actually acts as a bottleneck or a choke point for the smoke. You're gonna get the most airflow based off of the higher airflow uh, from your inline fan. So one thing that I wanna talk about with the inline fan is there is maintenance involved, right? So at least, I don't know, if you're a daily user, twice a year. If you're a hobbyist, maybe once a year. But this motor assembly, basically you have two uh, rings right here that will unscrew and this motor assembly actually comes out and you can wipe everything down and clean it. So don't be like those people that have overhead ceiling fans and that got dust all over the blades because I know that's one of you. You have to clean this because if you don't, the dust and grime will collect and eventually it will stop working. So just keep that in mind. But anyways, that's pretty much all I have for now. Now keep in mind that we will have future content coming out in the future. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. But if you wanna see what we're doing in the near future, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And of course, I appreciate you guys' support. So um, I am an affiliate for One Laser. So if you wanna support the channel and the content that I make, go ahead and plug in the code LaserGuys at checkout. But that's it for now, guys. Until then, we'll catch you later.